the drum king at Hollywood Park. Peterson is the winner. And no one getting up, winning it. And they're off. Five running. Pops is drawing up. Oh, David running. David Bagger by five. Yeah, Jack and Fred drawing it up. Cougar on the way. It's affirmed. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. Snow Chief is striking. Best pal breaks away. Zafar is all black. Real quiet. Piz now along the inside. And a very good Thursday to you, racing fans. Welcome to a fresh week of thoroughbred action here at Betfair Hollywood Park. I'm Rich Perloff. We have a good eight race program for you today. Only two weeks of live racing remaining in our autumn meeting here at Betfair Hollywood Park. So let's take a look at the jockey and trainer standings going into today's action. We have a very nice race developing atop the jockey standings here. Rafael Bejarano still leads, but only by one win over Edwin Maldonado and Martin Garcia with Joe Talamo one further back with 13. Going to be a very interesting last couple of weeks of racing on the, the jockey standing side. Among the trainers, Hall of Famer Bob Baffert sits atop John Sadler by a two-win margin. We'll monitor that as well for these last couple of weeks. On we go to Thursday's opener, first level allowance optional claimers. These are two-year-olds going six furlongs. Scratch of the three-horse Capister means no show wagering in the opener. Four to five favorite was on the rail. That's Z Big Apple for Bob Baffert coming off a fourth place finish in the grade three Hollywood preview. Here's Vic Stoffer with Thursday's first. They're at the post. They're off. No Ruck Munez breaks well, and so does Z Big Apple. Z Big Apple pokes ahead in front. Miko Margarita comes away in third, and the early trailer is Merengue Pie. So Z Big Apple will set the pace up the back stretch. It's now three quarters of a length from No Ruck Munez in second. A half length to Miko Margarita. He'll be three wide leaving the back stretch. Merengue Pie is fourth and last, but only about two and a half behind as they leave the backside. Z Big Apple, the leader. Miko Margarita moves up outside of No Rock Munis. New second place horse, Miko Margarita, and he's on the move. No Rock Munis can't quite go with those two at this point. He's now two behind, still could do it at the rail. And then it's six back to Merengue Pie, though, at the top of the stretch, and Z Big Apple has the lead. He has left the rail wide open if No Rock Munis is good enough to re rally. Meanwhile, Miko Margarita is on the tack in the center, and any one of those three can win. Miko Margarita puts his half ahead in front. Z Big Apple tries to battle on. No Rock Munis back in third. He's going to finish third. It's down two. Z Big Apple and Miko Margarita. Z Big Apple battles back. Miko Margarita the outside. Z Big Apple. Miko Margarita. Wow. I think it's Miko. He was beat with about 20 yards to run, and I think he put his nose down right on the money to beat Z Big Apple. It is very, very close, though. No Rock Munis third and Merengue Pie fourth. That's about as close as it gets at the end of three quarters of a mile. Z Big Apple just did prevail in a very tight photo over Miko Margarita. $3.60 on your winner. Martin Garcia wrote Z Big Apple for Bob Baffert and owner Zayat Stables LLC. Six furlongs in 111 and four one hundredths. Race number two on the Thursday program. Back onto the grass course for the first time in a couple of days here at Bet Bear Hollywood Park. $25,000 claimers going six furlongs. Turf course was good. Temporary rail was 10 feet out. Eight to five favorite here was the five horse, Promiscuous Suances, for trainer Doug O'Neill. Here's Vic's call. They're off. Promiscuous Suances breaks best, goes for the front from Roman Charity and Nice Madel away second and third. So she dances, breaks fourth, and Hout Bay in the early trailer is three cuties. Easy lead up the back stretch for Promiscuous Suances, and they slow it down up front. Promiscuous Suances in front by a length and a half. Roman Charity races second, just a neck back two. Nice Madel in third in the red. So she dances is joined by Hout Bay through from the inside. Those two about three and a half behind. And Three Cuties has nine lengths to make up. Less than three furlongs left to race. No excuses for promiscuous suances. She's had it all her own way. 
to the quarter pole and it's still that length and a half in front of Roman Charity and Nice Madel. So She Dances going to be four wide. She's within three of the lead now. Hout Bay and three cuties. Top of the stretch. Promiscuous Suances goes to work and she leads now by a bigger margin. It's three lengths. Three cuties is rallying nicely in the center. However, she's still three and a half or four behind Promiscuous Suances. So She Dances second. Three cuties third. Promiscuous Suances. Promiscuous Suances won by three quarters of a length in the end. So she dances second, three cuties third, nice matel fourth. Promiscuous Suances added blinkers for the first time in career start number nine, and under Edwin Maldonado, he takes this field wire to wire. Five year old mare by Suances, now three for nine in her racing career, two of those wins on grass. She pays $5.40 for the win. There was a claim out of this race. The three horse, Nice Midel, goes from Jack Caraba to Peter Miller. Six furlongs on the good turf course in one minute, 11 and 77 one hundredths. We'll take a break and return with Thursday's Pick Six sequence. It's the final week of the Bet Fair Hollywood Park meet, and we've saved the best for last. Come out Saturday, December 15th, to see the stars of tomorrow take center stage in the richest race of the meet, the Great One $750,000 Cash Call Futurity, sponsored by Cash Call. To help celebrate the day, we will have a very special Zip Please Pull Over giveaway. Sunday, December 16th, is closing day with mandatory payouts and all remaining contests and carryovers, and it will be Fan Appreciation Day with drawings for gift cards held throughout the day at Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Race number three featured a field of two-year-old Philly Maiden claimers at the $40,000 level. A field of seven lined up with four first-time starters. Nine to five favorite was one of those firsters, Friends with Macy, one of two in the field for trainer Doug O'Neill. Edwin Maldonado riding Friends with Macy here. Vic Stoffer with the third on a Thursday. They're at the post. They're off. Awkward start, Senorita Cautelosa. Good start for Turf Club Queen and Mazzy, inside and outside quickest. Friends with Macy away a close third. Then comes Consent and Sunflare, followed by No Name Needed. And now Senorita Cautelosa is on the move. After that awkward start, she's midfield. At the half mile pole, it is Turf Club Queen and Mazzy, and they're even going into the far turn. Then a lineup of three, headed up by Senorita Cautelosa, who's upped into third now and less than a length and a half from the front. Friends with Macy and Consent right outside of her. No name needed is second to last with five lengths to make up. And the trailer is Sunflare as they run towards the top of the stretch. Turf Club Queen and Mazzy continue to trade punches. Turf Club Queen now a neck in front of Mazzy in second. No name needed is rallying in the center. And she's drawn within a length and a half of the lead. And Friends with Macy goes with her top of the stretch. Here comes No Name Needed outside of Turf Club Queen. Friends with Macy tightly between horses had to tap on the brakes. No Name Needed. And Turf Club Queen, Turf Club Queen still just in front. No Name Needed to the outside no name needed turf club queen no name needed no name needed beat turf club queen by a neck friends with macy was third and senorita cautelosa finished fourth another good stretch run here eight to one first time starter no name needed easing away from long shot turf club queen in deep stretch eighteen dollars and twenty cents for the victory no name needed for trainer mike pipey and jockey david flores pays eighteen dollars and 20 cents to win. He's a trifecta worth $404.90. The superfecta here, 6123, the numbers, $1,852.20. We go on to Thursday's fourth race, open claimers at the $8,000 level, going a mile and a 16th. Seven to five favorite was the two horse Coluda for trainer Mike Mitchell with Martin Garcia in the irons. Here's the fourth from Big Stoffer. They're at the post. They're off. Kaluta breaks best, goes for the front from Firebreak and Morganuska. Miles Air just in behind those three. Then comes Power Series, who will be quite wide. Just inside of Power Series is Asset Play. Towards the back of the pack are Royal Encounter and Cause. Kaluta will set the pace from Morganuska in second. Kaluta. Three quarters of a length lead over Morganuska in second. Then it's a length and a quarter to a lineup of four. With firebreak at the rail, Miles Air asset play. 
and there's just those three. And then it's four lengths further back to Cause and Royal Encounter. No, there was four, and the four wide one is Power Series. He's up in about three from the lead. So up the back stretch they run, and Kaluta is the leader. He's three quarters of a length still in front of Morganuska in second. Fire breaks into the bit, trying to slip through inside of the front running Kaluta. Fire break within a length of the lead. Power Series and Miles Air with asset play between horses. Now three in a line in that second flight, and then it's five back to Royal Encounter and Cause. Three furlongs left to run, and Kaluta still the one to catch. It is Kaluta to the quarter pole, still three quarters of a length in front of Morganuska, who tracks in second. Fire break stays at the rail third. He could do it. Miles Air, asset play in the center, going to be four wide. Then comes Royal Encounter, Power Series, didn't run a step today. He's backed out of it, second to last, top of the stretch. Kaluta is the leader. Miles Air comes after him. Here comes Miles Air, asset plays in the center. He's got a chance, fire break at the rail. Royal Encounter, a closing fifth. Kaluta just in front, but now Miles Air forges to the lead. Asset play to the outside. Miles Air, Kaluta, asset play, three to the wire. Miles Air. Miles Air won by a neck. It is an inch either way for second between Asset Play and Kaluta. Royal Encounter finished fourth. A little bit rough in the first couple of legs for the pick six players. Eight to one winner in race number three. And Miles Air scores here at just a shade under 11 to one. Edwin Maldonado getting his second win on the card. $23.80 the win mutual. Another good superfecta. 3267 the winning numbers. $1,501 even. There was a claim out of race number four. The two horse, Koluda, goes to trainer Adam Kitchingman. We'll step away for a quick break and return with the $150,000 guaranteed pool late pick four. the final week of the Bet Fair Hollywood Park meet and we've saved the best for last. Come out Saturday, December 15th to see the stars of tomorrow take center stage in the richest race of the meet, the Grade 1 $750,000 Cash Call Futurity, sponsored by Cash Call. To help celebrate the day, we will have a very special Zip Please Pullover giveaway. Sunday, December 16th is closing day with mandatory payouts and all remaining contests and carryovers, and it will be Fan Appreciation Day with drawings for gift cards held throughout the day at Bet Fair Hollywood Park. <laughs> 